give your heart to me I no go let you go Where I no go do you Basa baby, trust in me When you give your heart to me I no go let you go Where I no go do you Basa basa baby, trust in me let's just jump into this look all right so i'm going in to go fill in my brow just like i would in every other video of mine if you've watched but i'm going to link a video that i have a detailed brow routine um down below so if you're interested in that you just click on it and watch how i actually do my brow um there's no new method to it today it's just the same old same old filling my brows Right now, I'm actually going in to go clean it out and I'm going in with the Elegal Pro Conceal in the shade Tuffy and I'm just applying that using my flat concealer brush. And I'm going to do it, you know, whatever it is I do for the left side of my face, I'll do for the right side of my face, of course, because <laughs> we're going for a uniform look. But right now, I'm actually going in with the blending brush, trying to blend out all those concealer to make sure there are no hash lines. And of course, I'll do for the other face as well. Alright guys, don't mind me. I'm, I promise not to play too much in this video, okay? So now I'm going in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk. And I'm actually going in with a blending brush to blend all that into my um, lead. Okay, now it's the Hush Beauty 350T palette and I love this palette but I'm actually going in with the brown shade from the palette I'm trying to return some warmth and some color to my eyes uh, because I really really primed it heavily and that's because I'm going in with some uh, vibrant colors I really want them to pop all right so now I'm going back into the lead with that brown shade and I'm going to just make sure I put in as much color as I think is uh, necessary and I'm going in with the orange color from the same palette and I'm going to just you know applying some warmth to the eyes some more and I'm also using it as a transition shade and now it's the Margaret Equal palette from Tara Cosmetic and I'm going in with a flat blending brush and I'm mixing those two orange colors together and I'm trying to put that you know mostly in my crease because I want to use it as a transition shade and now I'm going back in to prime my lid some more using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk. And I'm going in with my finger. I lost the nail. So yeah, it actually came in handy. And I'm just using that to press the product in. Now I'm going in with a light shade from the Margaret Echo palette. And I'm just patting that in the outer corner of my eyelid. And whatever I do for the left, I do for the right. Even if it's not on camera, at least you know what I'm doing. Yeah. So I'm just using that as a base, you know, for the darker yellow that I'm actually putting on my lid right now. And I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush to apply that. So that other color just, you know, give it something to really sit on and make the color very vibrant. And that's the very first color from the Ankara right on my head. And I'm going in with a light shade of pink and I'm going to use that to, you know, form a base for the darker shade of pink that I'll be using later. And it's all from the Margaret Echo palette uh, from Tara Cosmetic. And I'm also using the same flat eyeshadow brush to apply that. Now I'm going in with a darker shade of pink and if you notice I didn't start from the very beginning where the pink is because I wanted it to, you know, transition into each other. I just didn't want a very dark pink, you know, after the yellow, just wanted it to flow and that's why I'm leaving a little bit of space between the light one and the dark one. And I'm going in with a dark blue shade from still the same palette and I'm applying that on the outer corner trying to draw um, like a wing liner kind of thing but I'm going to connect it to my crease area and almost like a smoky eye but not really a smoky eye if you understand what I'm going what I'm saying but yeah I'm using the flat foundation brush to apply that and trying to blend as I go and that would be the third color from the head scarf on my head as well seeing that the look is actually going to mirror the scarf on my head and I'm going in with that orange color from the Hush Beauty 350T palette again still using the same flat uh, fluffy not fluffy but actually the flat blending brush 
and I'm using that to as a transition to tie all the colors together and I am doing the same now for the other one using the big blending brush I just want to make sure there are no harsh lines and everything you know blends together beautifully I applied my eyeliner off camera but I'm coming back here to just clean things up and I'm using the Zaron cosmetic palette um sorry the Zaron cosmetic um, gel liner yep and I'm just using a, a brush by BH cosmetic an eyeliner brush by BH cosmetic to apply that now I'm going into my skin trying to you know clean off all those product that would have fallen on my skin and now I'm just waiting for it to just dry up uh, yeah I applied way too much primer but for primer I'm using the Pond's oil control cream and I'm using the formula for very oily skin because I have really oily skin and I'm going to be mixing two foundations together today I'm using the Revlon color stay in cocoa I think uh, if I'm not sure I'll actually drop the product down below and I'm mixing that with the hair guy and Esther in I think toffee together to just give me my perfect shade I noticed that I got a little bit darker um, because of the weather here in Nigeria so I didn't want to do anything to lighten my skin so I instead of I instead went to get you know a darker shade of foundation so I can get the real tone of my skin maybe until I lighten up naturally when the weather changes and now I am actually going in with the Elegal Pro Conceal and I am just using that to highlight my face, you know the drill, it's the same in all my videos and I'm using the Damp Beauty Blender to you know blend all of that into my skin and the shade I use for this is called Toffee by Elegal Pro Conceal of course. And I'm going to go set all the places that I highlighted or that I concealed and I'm doing doing that with a damp beauty blender and I'm just putting that into my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm setting all those areas. And now I'm just going back to, you know, contour my face using the LA Color Contour Palette and I'm using the darkest shade in that palette to just put some color back in my face and define my face as well. And I'm going in with a flat foundation brush and I'm using that to you know contour my nose using a lighter brown shade in that same elegant LA color um, contour kit and now I'm going to go to a reverse contour and I'm highlighting right underneath my contour line using my same setting powder and I'm going to my eyes right now and I'm going to be using a dark pencil or a black pencil jet black pencil by classic cosmetic and I'm lining my waterline with that and then I dipped my powder brush in my Maybelline, Maybelline Fit Me uh, powder in the shade Mocha or Mocha. No, it's Mocha. And I'm just dusting off the excess. So I'm going in with a smudger brush into that um, eyeshadow palette by Tara Cosmetic. And I'm taking the dark blue shade and I'm just going to use that to smoke out the um, black pencil and, of course, to, you know mirror the the the, the head scarf of my head I got lost for a moment there <laughs> so I'm just going to smoke it all out using that blue color it's a beautiful beautiful blue color and I love the fact that this look is all matte on the eye like no shima which is you know I love glitter and shima but sometimes you need to do something different and I'm going in with mascara by bare minerals it's called lash domination and I'm using that for the upper eyelid or sorry my upper eyelash and for the lower lash i'm going to go in with mega volume by i think mega volume should be by um ellie girl <laughs> i'm not really sure i'm just going to put down all the products that i used in the description but don't worry but it's called mega volume i'm using that because it has a smaller wand it makes it really easy to apply on your bottom lash and for blush I'm mixing the two blush colors by in the Zaron cosmetic palette the eyeshadow and blush dual palette and for bronzer I'm using my favorite bronzer by makeup revolution and I'm just going to you know put that in all the places that the light hit my face naturally what will be the um, high point of my cheek, my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and a little bit on my forehead because you know I love to glow. Okay. 
and I applied my lashes off camera but for, for lashes I'm using a pro I'm using one by Voan cosmetics it's a Nigerian lash company and I absolutely love their lashes because they are very very affordable and they're really beautiful I'm going to leave the exact style in the description box and for lip liner I'm going in with this deep plum shade by Zaron cosmetic and it's called vivid I'm just going to use that to line the outer portion of my lips and that's because of that deep purple shade that you can see in the scarf is hidden somewhere it's not really that it's not showing that much but it's still in that scarf so I'm just trying to mirror that and for the red in the scarf I'm going in with Zaron cosmetic lip stain in the shade Eve and I'm just using that to just you know fill in my lips Give me some beautiful, beautiful, vibrant red color. And I love me with red lips. I'm a black girl. Red lips rock. And this lip color is just beautiful. So yeah, guys. I think that's all for this look. Uh, please thumbs up and drop a comment if you like the video. Make sure that you subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will be catching you in my next video. I love you very much for watching. Mwah. Bye. Why you gonna do like that? Why you gonna keep that thing from me? Why you gonna do like that? Why you gonna act like you don't know? No, baby, don't do like that. Girl, come feed me, don't be stingy.